The medalists, the number one seeds, the defending champions here at the China Masters, Zhu Chen and Ma Jin. For Zhu Chen, this is his fifth final at this particular tournament. Having not only won the mixed doubles last year, but also won the men's doubles back in 2009 with Guo Zheng Dong. Opponents for the Chinese pair, Chu Sihan and Tang Jinhua, playing in only their fourth ever tournament together and their first ever Super Series tournament together. How remarkable that they're through to the final. Of course, Tang Jinhua has already won a title here at the China Masters because 12 months ago she won the women's doubles with Xia Huan but Huan unable to play this year they were the number two seeds they had to pull out the ball from the tournament but Tang Xia has more than made up for the disappointment of not being able to defend the women's doubles by reaching the final here of the mixed doubles and who knows may go home once again for the title a rather heavy strapping on the right knee of Zhu Chen that's a little bit concerning Jin. former world champion of course Ma Jin playing with Zheng Bo on the gold medal at the world championships in Paris in 2010 same World Championships, Chu Chen not won the bronze medal in the men's doubles. There's Ma Jin, 24 year old from Qingdao. Former world number one in the women's doubles with Wang Xiao Li. But for the past 18 months or so, these two players have concentrated solely on their mixed doubles. And the culmination of that and the Olympic silver medal. They only formed their partnership at the beginning of 2011. Since then, have won the All England Championships and the Olympic silver World Championship ones. Well, there's the 21 year old from Shandong Province, Chu Xihan, and his partner Tang Xinhua, 20 years of age from Nanjing. Nanjing, not that far from here. Jiangsu province. So from the number of the seeds, the defending champions, the last match on, on the semi-finals evening last night, had a three-game encounter against the number three seeds, Chan Peng Soon and Go Li Ying from Malaysia. An hour and six minutes that was, and I wonder if that is the reason for the strapping on the right knee of Zhu Chen. For this pair, their semi-final was also a marathon match. Three games against the number two seeds, Sukit Pra Prakamol and Sarali Thong Dongkam. In fact, they were a game, and 19-15 up, but couldn't convert that second game. Lost the next six points to drop the game 21-19. And then they were 13-15 down in the deciding game before promptly winning eight of the next ten points to win the decider 21-17 in an hour and 14 minutes. So both these pairs, long, long semi-final matches yesterday. Oh, just a little bit of housekeeping there. Deputy tournament referee, Mr. Yamada from Japan.
So the defending champions get this mixed doubles final underway. A year ago, of course, they had Korean opposition in the final, defeated Yu Young Sun and Jang Yu Na. Two straight games. This particular tournament today for Zhu Chen. Good rally. And for Zhu Chen, his third consecutive. Mixed doubles final because he was beaten finalist two years ago playing with Yu Yang. That's a good serve from Margin because Chu Si Han was looking to really attack that. If it was too tight, he couldn't. Junior medalist, both Tang Xinhua, she won a gold and a silver at World Junior Championships. Gold in the women's doubles in 2009, and silver a year later. Chu Si Han, oh, he was a silver medalist in the men's doubles with Chai Biao, who will be seeing in the next match at the 2008 World Junior Championships. Just wide. as well in these early stages how both the women on court not fearing their opponents smashes at all very very competent and confident when defending although both pairs quite obviously looking to try and get on the attack demonstration of what I've just been talking about. Defensive play from Margin. Played on the forehand side, driving the shuttle flat over the net, cross court. And I think the both the male players on court need to try and vary their attacks a little bit more, mix up the pace. Think more about the placement than the power. Trying 
trying to do exactly that, trying to take the pace out of the shuttle. A little look from Xu Chen down towards his racket. Yeah, I thought he might be changing it. I think he's cracked the racket. He gets thrown to one side. New one required. Well, tournament referee isn't going to be happy about the spare racket being left on the side of the court on the advertising boards. And I can tell you that one of the deputy referees has just moved that racket. Sometimes players leave the racket in a position where they can quickly grab it if necessary mid-rally. Leave their partner to hold the fort as they dash off court, grab a new racket, come back on. Well, that won't be the case here because that spare racket has been moved. Well, there's a partner called for her to leave it. it. Bounced off her ponytail, I think. And even then, still landed in. Good anticipation from Tang. Oh. That is magnificent. Well, the Olympic silver medalists don't like the call. Oh, I can see why. Yeah, the crowd saw that on the giant screen here in this arena. But if the umpire is going to overrule, they have to do, do so immediately. There was no call from Wang Ping. And it means that this very new pairing of Chu Sihan and Tang Jinghua 
Have a three point advantage in the open game here of this mixed doubles final against the Olympic silver medalists. So this new pairing playing in their first ever Super Series event. Oh. Oh. Extend their lead. In their three previous tournaments, they had to qualify in all of them, which they duly did, and then they lost in the first round. The German Grand Prix, the Swiss Grand Prix, and the Asian Championships in Qingdao. And here they are in their fourth tournament. Oh, no, they progressed past the opening round. Here they are in the final, leading the final. Quite remarkable. the nerves, perhaps the realisation of just what they're achieving at the moment, just hitting home and making them a little bit nervous. that actually made contact with the shuttle. Either way, they won the point. Well, let's have a look. Yeah. It was indeed true. It's going wide. He's all out of sorts at the moment, is Xu Chen. Oh, it's a better return of serve. Time for the defending champions to show us what they're made of. Oh dear me. Well, that's an indication. Well, well, well.
No, oh, my goodness. Oh, what? That is a fantastic shot from Margin. Xu Chen in all sorts of a tangle on his defence, but managed to get away with it. And great anticipation from Margin. She's a class act. She has four World Championship medals, including a full set of gold, a silver, and two bronze. Of course, from women's doubles as well as mixed doubles, and those four medals. Jump smash from Chu Xian. Full body and soul going into that smash. Yeah, that's the sort of smashing we're used to seeing from this man. I remember during the Korean Open final, he had a smash of 295 kilometers an hour. And I don't think that one would have been much slower than that, if at all. Lovely control from Tang Jinhua. Two points away now from the opening game. Make that one point away. Been so positive in this opening game. And they thoroughly deserve. There's six game point opportunities. They only needed the one. 21 14. Unseeded pair. 164 they are in the world ranking against the world number ones. World number ones, Olympic silver medalists, former All England champions, defending champions here. And their backs are against the wall because they've not looked like their number one status in the opening game at all. Outclassed by Chu Si Han and Tang Jun Hua.
of course, this unseeded Chinese pair have had a great tournament so far, beating two seeded pairs on the way through to today's final. Number four seeds Manipong Jongjit and Sapatri Amatrapai from Thailand in the first round. Semi final against another Thailand pair, the number two seed Sukit Praprakamal and Sarali Thong Tongkap. They've already more than proved their worth. Yes, indeed, they did in that ride. We've had a very consistent year so far of the world number ones. At least a semi final in all seven tournaments they've played so far. And it's the fifth final of the year. on the top of the net. Didn't go over, so... And Margin desperately trying to get more involved in this match. Hunting the shuttle now at the beginning, at the front of the court. She's not being helped all that much by her partner at the moment. Yeah, it's a good return, though.
the sort of rally that can be a turning point in a match. Not to be in all sorts of trouble, Chu Chen. It's interesting that the world number 164 up two places this week is the doubles coaching staff. They're the more eager to get on with it. They stayed on court while their opponents went off to towel down while the court was mopped. Of course, you don't get a realistic world ranking until you've played 10 tournaments. Chu and Tang have only played three previous tournaments together. So certainly not a realistic ranking. Yeah, and a really sense of change in momentum now. from four all. Seven of the next eight points. Going in favor of the world number ones. So can they push home this advantage and send this final to a deciding game? for the entirety of the rally. Yeah, Margin just trying to settle her partner down. Definitely not at his scintillating best today. First tournament back after the London Olympics, of course. about a return of serve. Magnificent. That's the sort of shot we used to seeing from this man. Generating drive and power on the backhand there. With no backswing and no follow through. How on earth does he do that?
Well, ever since Chu Chen made that dive on the defensive shot, the momentum has been with them. One rally they had no right to win. She wasn't missing many of those in the opening game, and now a bit of frustration creeping into her game. And that's what happens when you get frustrated. The errors start to flow. suspect too little too late as far as this second game is concerned tall order to come back against the world number ones from an eight point deficit Far. Hoping it will bring a change of fortune. Chen Jun on the right as we look at them. Of course, he was more than Olympic champion, Olympic champion twice with Gao Ling. bit of confusion with Zhu Chen as to who's supposed to be receiving. Oh, no serve. He's short of the mark, and that error on serve means that there are 10 game point opportunities. Score graphic not caught up. This is 20 points to 10. There we go. Oh, my goodness, round the back. This time, it's several 
attempts to actually play the winning shot. But in the end, the attacking play paid dividends. 21-11. And it is one game apiece in this mixed doubles final. This game will decide the title. Number one seeds and defending champions, Chu Chen and Ma Jin, nearest to us. And this new exciting combination of Chu Sihan and Tang Jinhua. All the younger pairing, far side of the court, need to rekindle the sort of form they show in the opening game uh, to take their first ever title. It's the first ever Super Series tournament. The first time they've progressed beyond the first round of any tournament they've played in this partnership. What a story it would be if they could take the title. from Chu Si Han. <laughs> oh, that's nice. She was reading the game so well in the opening game. Intercepting at the net. back with the number one seeds for three oh, 
as well long. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, well, a fault's been called. Well, I'm confused too. Well, it certainly must have happened before that. I'm not entirely sure what the fault was called for. Players seem just as bewildered as I was. So, six three, deciding game. How did she get that back? Well, there was a defensive shot earlier on in that rally from Tang Xinhua. That was just extraordinary. I don't think we're going to see it. No. Just wide. Right idea. Big gap down there. Serve. Good anticipation too of the third shot. Good understanding between Xi Chen and Ma Jin. Took an age to serve. Seven eight. Oof. 
And that's what happens sometimes with a new pairing. Both slightly hesitant, both thought the other would go for it. Yep, there's the hesitation. And the gaps are beginning to be exploited now with Chu Sihan and Tang Jumwa. champions as they change ends in this deciding game. Well, a year ago. This was only their second ever title together. Xi Chen and Margin. They formed their partnership at the beginning of 2011. Won the All England Championships as an unseeded pair. And followed that up by winning this China Masters. Six straight points. Eight, seven, and it all looked very tight. It all, all looked very much in the balance. Not so now. Oh, oh it's landed well in. Sehan and Tang Jinhua have been riding on the crest of a wave. Oh, the thrilling adventure has come to an end. Struggling to feel at ease here. Lovely take by Margin. Dressing the shuttle early. Eight straight points. Smash. 
do hope he's okay. Yeah, I'm just asking if you can tell down. And that's sometimes an indication that a player just needs to recompose themselves after a slight niggling injury. You already noticed that you know, nothing seemed to give way there. Well, we have noticed that his right knee is heavily strapped. So all of a sudden, from 8-7, we now have a 10-point advantage. Smash off a good flick serve. A gasp from the crowd here. That was quick and accurate. Two points away from the title now. Just the one required. Youngsters, the unseeded combination playing in their first ever Super Series tournament, Chu Sehan and Tang Jinhua, having taken the opening game 21 14, and it was awfully close in the early stages of the second 6 5, and then from that stage, the Olympic silver medalists surged forward, taking the second 21 11, and the decider 21 10.
So the mixed doubles finalists step forward for the prize presentation. So first of all, the beaten finalists, Chu Sehan and Tang Jinhua. So the number one seeds retain their title. partnership at the beginning of last year. So Mr. Shosu presenting the trophies. here at the China Masters. The fourth career title, a fourth Super Series title, and a second here at the China Masters for Zhu Chen and Ma Jin. Thank you. 